happening boys and girls out there in YouTube land? On this morning's video, we're going to be installing the harmonic dampening grommets on this here gauntlet one. This gauntlet is otherwise completely decked out with the uh, Terminator GTAC components, which consists of the uh, adjustable and versatile uh, chassis that's a direct bolt on. And then uh, we've got the bottle conversion on this uh, rifle right here. We're running a 360 cc bottle, which the OEM bottle is 210 on the G1s and it's 3000 PSI. So we're going from 210 cc to 360 cc's, but also at a 4500 PSI fill. So uh, that's gonna give us a gang load more shots in this 25 cal G1, which is just gonna be awesome because this platform is extremely lightweight when used with the Terminator GTAC stock. So it's just a pleasure to take out in the field. But one of the drawbacks used to be with this PCP was a small bottle size at 210 cc's and 3000 PSI. I just really wasn't getting enough shots to just go out there and um, not always have to go back to the compressor or the uh, air tank. So this way right here, I can just shoot all day I don't I can just do pest control and I don't have to keep going back to the uh, refill station each time out It's just one fill. I don't even bring my extra tank because I know it'll last me all day. So uh, <clears throat> The last thing I got to do is just take care of the barrel harmonics on this uh, unit <clears throat> And I'm gonna just uh, film that today just to show you guys how the uh, install goes down so the first thing you guys always got to do when you're gonna work on these is uh discharge the breech um, into a safe area to make sure there's no projectile in the uh, barrel and then um, decock it put it on safe I've already done all that to this PCP so we'll go ahead and uh, unscrew the decimator LDC that I'm running on this this is like uh, a new uh, LDC that we have out that's a step up from the short dog LDC as far as uh, being a little bit more quiet and since this is a 25 cal I'm running the uh, decimator um, just to keep the muzzle report a little bit quieter it's because it not because like it needed to be or whatever but the short dog LDC is adequate but like the more quiet you can get it then the less you're gonna startle up all the uh, quarry that you're trying to um, have them come in and land up on your decoys so you don't want to be making a racket out there Take the spring out, loosen up these uh, bottle bands. All right, let's we'll slide these barrel bands off. Okay, and then the <clears throat> shroud should just unscrew fairly easily and then we want to take the uh, air stripper out so just using this old carbon fiber rod I'm gonna just pop that out okay so we got the OEM air stripper out <clears throat> down to the bare barrel now <clears throat> on the gauntlet and the Avenger the barrels are kind of skinny but um, to save weight and to save costs on materials um, for the manufacturer and get the price point down for the consumer which is is uh, all those things are awesome so but then they flex a little bit you know so there's gonna be a little bit of a uh, of whipping going on on your shot cycle which could affect the uh, point of impact you know downrange and your group sizing so um and in my case like doing pest control you know little flyers here and there now i winged a bird or you know now i missed or whatever so you know for me i just want to get like the accuracy and precision and uh point of impact reliability dialed in by all the by all the things that uh that add up the bottle bands the harmonics dampening and then uh testing the ldcs to make sure that they uh, make good accuracy. So like with the with the full GTAC and the full ATAC um, Terminator chassis kits and barrel uh, systems, 
like it's not just one component of it that makes all the accuracy it's the all the pieces put together gives you the tight package which gives you good grouping and uh, point of impact reliability I got a pack of four of our harmonic dampening grommets for gauntlet one and two right here so in order to uh, put these on what we're gonna do is just clean the barrel real quick with some uh, acetone or brake clean or just like some soapy water if that's all you got just to get any oil off of it because we're gonna put some tape on either side of these grommets and we want the tape to stick so basically we're just gonna slide these semi flexible grommets on right over the muzzle and they fit real snug but they still slide on real easy um, with this uh, design they're fluted in four on four sides with grooves for the air porting so that your shroud can still act as a baffling system like it was designed to because these don't obstruct the uh, the flow of air throughout the whole shroud since they're ported and fluted so we're just going to evenly space those out and then the uh, Okay, so now we're just going to put a little bit of tape on either side of each of these so that uh, we can remove and reinstall our shroud without them sliding back and forth. And uh, I'm just using some white electrical tape. But you can use uh, cloth athletic tape, black tape, um, I mean even duct tape probably. Just little rips of it. But yeah, it doesn't take much. Just one go around, we'll hold them in place. So I'll finish up this here and then get back to you once I'm done. All right, so we're done doing the uh, taping on that. So that's how you should look after you uh, finish taping them up. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> next step is just get some uh, silicone grease, just kind of rub it on your fingers and just kind of um, lightly coat these with a, a bit of grease so that that shroud will just slide across them that much easier. It's just a super light coat is all it's going to take. Alright, so we're going to slide our shroud back on now. There we go. So once you get that snugged up, that's pretty much it for that. We'll reinstall our bottle bands. That's 
definitely getting stiff now. <clears throat> You guys can see these uh, bottle bands usually fit pretty snug so you don't have to tighten the hardware much. Just a light snug on the hardware is all it takes. Alright so now that we have our uh, bottle bands on, harmonic dampening kits installed in the shroud. We're just going to cap her back off with our spring, our OEM baffle, and then the uh, decimator LDC. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. Basic install, simple tools. Uh, not doesn't take very long. But uh, it's going to help out a lot with your POI reliability and then our precision shooting at, you know, all different ranges from close to medium to long range. So, yeah, now that this PCP is completed and built, full Terminator setup, we got to make room for another build. So, uh, anybody want to buy this, just hit me up in the comments. It's um, a sweet, a sweet uh, powerhouse and laser beam uh, critter getter. So um, everything's all pretty much fresh on it. Fresh Gauntlet 1, fresh GTAC stock, um, fresh bottle. This shoots a lot of different projectiles very accurately and probably even more so now. So um, so yeah, I'll put this uh, PCP up on the eBay store. Go check it out or just hit me up in the comments and I'll try to get you a better deal than that. <laughs>